Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. Today we're gonna to be working on a 2016 uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. We're gonna be taking off the uh, fender and we're gonna go ahead and replace it back on with another fender that we pre-painted. Uh, if you guys like this, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and turn on that push notification. All right, so let's get started. So the tools we're gonna to be using is gonna be right here. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a socket a 10 millimeter right here with an extension a socket wrench and also this um, panel remover panel remover tool or if you have a flathead uh, flathead screwdriver that work too so uh on the last video, if you guys uh, push over here or click over here, one of these two, click over there. But we're gonna show you guys how to remove the uh, the front bumper. Uh, you're gonna have to remove the front bumper to take off the uh, fender. Okay. So first, let's start off on top. But uh, the headlight for us has already been uh, taken off because of the accident; it's already broken. But you're gonna have to take off the headlight too. So it's gonna be a 10 millimeter right here. How much impact was this? Uh, this one had a front and rear impact. So the rebar had to actually be uh, replaced, but she has a little bit of a uh, frame damage on this. This is actually her second accident. So the first time we did the front bumper, now she got another accident. So take off that. And then there's another one right here that holds the uh, headlight. So that's also a 10. She, she held it on with zip ties, which is the mechanic special. That stuff holds a lot of weight. Yes, this is uh, zip ties, it's like the uh, special tool that mechanics use in body shops. Uses. Trade secret. So take off that 10 millimeter right there. And then the headlight shoes come right off. Let's see. We need to unplug it. So right back here, we're gonna unplug it. Okay. Let's try it off right there. So we're gonna start off with this bolt right here. We're gonna take this off. That's also a 10 millimeter. And then, so on the fender liner, you're gonna use your uh, panel remover tool Basically, see these little um, push pins right here? There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's gonna be six of those. So I'm gonna remove it by like that. So just insert this in this push up. If you have a fly head, that will work also. I think one thing you forgot to mention is, do we need to turn the wheels? Oh yeah, sorry. You do have to turn the wheel to the uh, passenger side, so to the right, so you can get into these uh, push pins right here. And then there's gonna be another one over here, and then another one right here, but this uh, person is missing it. So then you should be able to just push it to the side. Like that and then you're gonna see this bolt right here that's also a 10 millimeter so we're gonna take the extension off and then back here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but like back here like right behind the fender like right there, 
There's another bolt. All the way back here. So like right here at the bottom. Right there. That bolt right there. It's kind of hard to see, but you're gonna use a 10, mm, 10 millimeter to take that off. So it looks like this. All right. So then we're gonna go to this side right here. What is that? <laughs> Goodness. That's a good weapon. But you need a long extension. So go right here. Uh, I don't know if everybody has that in their household tools. If you have two of these, get three of them, then that'll work too. You just gotta get over this thing. <laughs> okay. There you go. Tuffy one right here. Uh, let's see, I think you push it forward. Okay. So yeah, you kind of push forward or back and then it should release it from these little prongs right here. Take that to the side. And then we'll loose this long one. So you're gonna have a 10 millimeter right here. So here's a cover. There's a cover right here. I guess it fell after the accident. But take that cover off and then you'll see another uh, bolt right here. So get an extension. Make sure you don't hit the window. So there you go. And then now you're gonna have these bolts right here. Right on the side. So hold that fender like that. And then so kind of we do it off. And then there's a uh there's the side marker right here, you gotta unplug it. So like right here, press this down. And it should unplug this thing. So then you, there's another uh, push pin right here. You gotta take it out. I gotta find the tool. This one a fly head would work better. Oh, there it is, came off. I'll get that a little bit. But once that thing's off, now the fender can come on. Get the stand. And now we're gonna take off uh, this thing first. Are you not saving those? Yes, I'm gonna put this back in the other fender. So, if you have a fly head, what you're trying to do is kind of push this part in so it kind of releases itself from the hole. But since I have this one, I can just push it in there. And then it'll release for me. Okay, so that's one. No, nope. The best thing to do is get another stand so you can put this back uh, as soon as possible so you don't forget where it goes. All right, so here's the new fender that we painted. So it's not good unless you have the red moto sticker. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what let me see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so turn this one. So make sure when you have a painted fender, uh, you have a uh, a soft surface, okay? So you don't want to scratch that uh, that paint. Especially on this pearl color. Alright, so now you grab this, put it back where you belong. Like that, just push it down. And then the same one. Go ahead and push it down. There you go. Alright. So 
So we're gonna take this part right here. So right here, take this off. Mm -hmm. Take that off. Right? So make sure you put it on the second hole from the uh, bottom. Thank you. There you go. So, so why it made it easier for us also, this person cut this hole for us. So then we can get into that uh, hole. Who cut that? The customer. Oh. I guess she had a fender installed before. I'm not sure. Maybe it was cut already. All right, so now, you can take off the uh, the blinker or the turn signal. Is it turn signal? I think this is a turn signal. Yeah, so you just push down on it like right here. You know what? Probably better if I use a flathead. Yeah, there you go. So we'll put that one back on this one. Okay, maybe you push it in. Okay, maybe you put it in first from the back, like that. Oh! I'm telling you, they make it more difficult year after year. All right, so now we're gonna put this uh, bottom piece on. So the bottom piece is right here. All right, I need a screwdriver. Take a screwdriver right here. I'm gonna take this bracket off. To hold the back end. There's this little thing that holds it. Oh, actually, this is from the headlight. See? Forgot there's another uh, screw right here for the headlight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That happens whenever you have a broken headlight. So turn this around. Easiest way is to take this and push down on this thing. These pins like that. All right. So now the bracket off. But you're gonna need this this bracket too. So we're gonna take off this 10 millimeter right here. Ooh. Hold it. There you go. Put the back of it back on. And you put this one back on, so you can see the 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 hole right there. Nice line up. Okay. And press down. There you go. So now that's secure. All right. So now we can put the fender on. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Whoa, I'm up. Whoa, wait a minute. We gotta put the... Alright, so there we go. Now that's on board. Are we missing... I think we are missing one. So someone else repaired the other fender, so... Another mechanic trick would be 
if you don't want to buy the bracket, you drill holes and you put it in there. Mechanic special. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment below. Uh, if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts, go to redmoto.com. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and turn on your push notification, subscribe to us, and uh, turn on that uh, bell button. I think it's a bell now. <laughs>